YouTube, Future 22 JS back at you with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you aren't already, make sure that you take the time out to subscribe to the channel, to drop a like, drop a comment on the video, share the video if you like, and also make sure that you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Future 22 JS. Before I get into this video, I want to start off by saying that I am a little under the weather right now. Science is draining. If you know, you know. So forgive me, please, if that messes or if that affects my speech in any type of way, but I have to get this review up for you guys ASAP because this is one of them ones that if they want it, they need to put it in their collection as soon as possible. So checking out the box, you can see we have all white Air Jordan box with the flight going across the top in black. Label reads, Air Jordan 4 Retro, the colorway is black, white. And here we have the Air Jordan 4 Retro in a white thunder colorway. Now, releasing on August the 24th for a retail price of $215, taking heed to, the, of course, the legendary Yellow Thunder. And then, of course, we've gotten the Red Thunders maybe, what, two years ago or last year. And now here we have the Air Jordan 4 in a white thunder. I don't know what it is about this nigga, bro, but this nigga is surprisingly fine. Is definitely better in hand than what it is on the pictures. You love to see black and white on a lot of sneakers, but when it's on certain sneakers, especially when the contrast is right, it could do a lot of things, and that's definitely what they did with this sneaker. Checking out the specs, you can see starting at the bottom, we have a blacked out Air Jordan 4 outsole with little white hits on the toe area and on the Jumpman logo. White and black Air Jordan 4 midsole, and one thing that I like about this midsole is that the execution was very, very nice. It's not really fading or anything like that. Now granted, I'm not saying that all the pairs are like this, but this in particular pair has a very, very nice outsole. I know on the red thunders, you will see paintbrush motions all over the midsole. Like, it was just bad. Very good work from Jordan Brand for actually stepping up their quality, in my personal opinion. So the uppers, we have all black new buck upper, and this new buck is nothing crazy, it's nothing spectacular, but it really does look nice. It's not a real long hair suede. It's the typical black new buck that we're accustomed to on our Air Jordan 4s. Now looking on the mid panels and on the toe bars, you have a white mesh material Material. Now, I'm very, very, very cautious about this white material um, simply because over the course of time when you wear it a lot, there might be a chance that this white mesh is going to start to yellow or maybe even brown. And Lord forbid, if you guys drop any type of color drink on the top of your sneaker and it bleeds through on this white mesh this white mesh is really going to be very very hard to clean it's going to be very hard to get your tiles through those it's covered in a, besides that minor caution it's still the perfect touch to this sneaker we have white plastic quote unquote waffle eye stage with the air jordan logo and the flight on a black fabricated patch at the top of the tongue <laughs> lastly the typical plastic air jordan 4 back with the white air jordan logo on the back here and that basically sums up the entirety of it. It's literally just a white and black sneaker. This is one of the top Air Jordan 4s to release this year. Um, not because it's the newest one to drop, but just because of the versatility that this one can bring, because of the just the overall cleanliness of the look. They released last Saturday. They have sold out completely everywhere. Um, so at this point, you either pay resale for it or you wait on a potential restock. Now, you guys know restocks are liable to happen nowadays he will restock at some point maybe once or maybe twice because if you guys remember those black and white fortes that dropped maybe last year or earlier this year yeah those are out of there like i haven't seen a restock on them ever i haven't seen anyone really talk about them but if you guys check the aftermarket prices of those fortes they are creeping up to the 300 point mark depending on your size and these right here are already sitting at maybe 260 270 so it's only a matter of time before these just shoot up if they've done that with a 14 you guys can imagine what a four is going to do and on top of that if you guys know that this is probably one of the most popular color blockings on the air jordan 4 if you guys look at the red thunders they're getting up there of course the original thunder 
there's dairy getting up there. If you guys been following me, I'm never the one to tell you guys go pay resale for a sneaker ever. If you guys just want to go on and grab it, just go on, get it out the way. You won't regret it and you can't say that you won't wear it because look at it. If you like Air Jordan 4s, now of course this is still a black and white sneaker. This is not the last black and white sneaker that's going to release ever in life. So of course you don't have to go and pay that extra. But if you love Air Jordan 4s, if you want to expand your Air Jordan 4 collection, if you want to expand your sneaker collection, this is a solid piece to add to it. Now, when it comes down to sizing, I highly recommend you guys go true to size. Um, they fit very, very nice. I love the fact that they redesigned the shape of the Air Jordan 4 so they could be more comfortable. If this is going to be your first Air Jordan 4, I highly recommend that you go through the size. So that's the end of the review. My name is Future22JS and keep in mind that there is no selling to your end potential. This was my in-hand review of the Air Jordan 4 in a white thunder colorway. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm now going to leave you with an on foot so you see how they look. Be sure to dream with your eyes open and always remember that your fear ends where your faith begins. Peace.